Do you know what to do in this situation? There's a lot of stuff out there about how to deal with tackles. You got to give him some credit, but look at Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal said that if his head was down and the back of his head was exposed, one karate chop or judo chop and he's dead. Like, if you hit it perfect and your timing is perfect and your angle is perfect, it's a possibility. I'm going to call that a low percentage technique. Let's go into the MMA world where we're going to see the typical response, which is a proper, proper spall. So as he comes forward at me, my goal is to drive my hips forward, getting my legs away from him so he can't grab the leg. Sometimes I might need to brace with my hand to here, my hand on his head, but if those legs are hooked, you're going to be in a whole different world. So we need to drive our hips back and get low as we can. A little bit faster so you guys can see. Is as he's going, it's just hips and down, right? So in that moment, it landed a little different. I really got my hips out, my chest landed on top of them. But look what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get taken down. I'm choosing to try and control it as much as you can. Now the thing that Kyle did in the first demo was he threw the high punch which caught my attention to go low. That's why you got to know your range and know if you're even going to eat those punches, right? If you're taller, I know my range. I know what it takes to hit him. You're going to get better as time goes on understanding people's leg a length of their arms. So when he comes forward, what I'm really doing is seeing forward energy coming. He's dropping down. I'm trying to thrust those hips forward as much as I can and land on top of them. So as he starts driving forward again, pop those legs back as far as you can. I ended up in a really good position here. It's not very likely I'll get here. But while I'm here in the self-defense situation, I don't just start banging. I don't spin and smash, right? I'm here. I'm putting pressure. I'm looking around. Am I safe to get away? Yes or no. You're never going to know exactly what you can do. But this is something that you can train at home quite a bit. So if we just watch Kyle, he's just going to do a sprawl. Okay? So if he faces the camera, just kind of start with your feet together. So you're getting used to popping both feet behind you. So right beside each other. Perfect. And he's just going to go on the count. One, two, three, sprawl. He's dropping those hips low, head up high, lining the spine. One more time for you. One, two, three, drop. And he's back up. Notice how he's popping back up like his hands were on my back. Now, not everybody's partner at home is going to want to practice this. But maybe they're just chilling, sitting on the couch. You got an exercise ball. They just have to roll it to you. He works on his sprawl. He tosses it back. Something that simple you can do with your kids, right? If you want, you can even try it on a wall by yourself where he chucks it at the wall, comes back, gets his sprawl. It's just something that you guys can play with. Yeah, right? Nothing's ever going to be perfect. But if you can use little training tools that might help you out, all the better. The concept that we're trying to learn here, though, is don't work on low percentage techniques. That may work. For sure they may work. But train the things that work the majority of the time. Anything that's high percentage. Ask any wrestler, ask anybody that does BJJ or Judo, how do you stop a double leg or tackle? You sprawl. Practice your sprawling at home. Hey, what's going on? Way to make it to the end of the video. You're obviously very dedicated towards the learning of self-defense within your own self. So with that being said, if you want more information or if you want more things to train, I've had lots of people reach out and inquire like, how do I train with you, Kevin? How do I learn your system? My group classes are full. My private lessons are full. So unfortunately, I don't have anything for the time being. But Buddha Brothers and I, a couple of years ago, put together this fantastic digital seminar. And it literally goes through everything that you could probably think about. So with that being said, it's on BuddhaBrothers.com. Click the link below. Make sure to like and subscribe for all the major content that we're going to be putting out. And we're doing this free for you guys because we want you to build confidence for you to feel safer on the street so that we can make this world a great place. But you got to train your ass off to get there. So keep up training. Good job.